video we're going to demonstrate how to properly set up our header swath width and make sure our auto cut width is turned on. From the main run screen we would navigate to the back button in the lower left corner and press the toolbox in the upper left corner. From the gray tabs at the bottom we would navigate over to what is designated as the head one tab. From here our header setup is displayed. We have our maximum working height our cutting type which is specified as a platform, our header width, our targeting work width, our work width adjusted step, and our header center offset. And below that we have several alarms, our auto cut width, our overlap mode, and then our work width reset mode. Some of the main things to look at would be our header width and our targeted work width. We want to make sure that these are set up properly before harvest because this will ensure that while we are collecting yield data, our area is being calculated properly. Depending on your level of DGPS correction, this will, this will decide how accurate your targeted work width will be. In this particular example, we are running a WASP receiver, and so we are allowing 6 inches of overlap on either side. So we have created a targeted work width of 39 feet, while our actual header width is 40 feet. Once we have set these up properly, we want to make sure that our auto cut width has been turned on. So we will turn that to on, and this will help to calculate our overlap as we come into an angled headland. Once these things have been set up properly, we want to make sure that we set up our maximum working height. That way, when we lift the head, it turns off at the appropriate position and turns back on when we lower it back down to turn on our yield monitor recording again. Once all of these things have been set up properly, we may return to the main run screen and we are prepared for harvest.